Okay, I wanted to give you guys a quick update on the car, show you what's going on. I made some uh, track brackets for the top. I wanted to show you those real quick, so let me pull the camera off. We'll go around to the weld table, um, show you what I got. Um, these are, uh, they're a little heavier than I wanted, but I mean, they came out pretty nice. Um, I tell you, that, that, that uh, Eastwood TIG welder really does a nice job. It really does. Um, but I made, uh, I made these up and, uh, just wanted to show you guys my idea here is these bolt holes are, uh, the pattern for where the hinges bolt onto the firewall area. And, uh, I want to bolt them on and, uh, I had these Hudson bearings laying around, um, uh, you know, a little ball on the end. I was going to make some kind of flat bar bracket, maybe with like a, uh, one of those coupling nuts or something uh, welded onto it, so that way I could adjust this with the with the nut or with the bolt on the end of it. It's like a 516 thread. It's got a jam nut here, so we can move it up and down and then jam it where we want it. And with it bolted onto the hood or the clip area, the Hudson bearing will just slide in here. And it, I got a little bit of play in there, which is what I want because I'm going to treat these. Um, I'll show you guys what I'm going to do with that maybe in the next video. Um, but uh, right now I'm just fitting stuff up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera on pause. I'm going to bolt one of these on. I don't even know if they're going to fit yet. So we'll find out here. Um, and I'll sh show you basically what my idea is. I'm just with this bracket, bracket area up top. So let me put the camera back on the, uh, thing. Um, I noticed everybody else, what they do is, they do fast forwards through the stuff. If you guys want me, I did it once. I, I can do it again if you want me to do it. But it's just as easy for me just to pause it and put the bracket on. But if you want me to do like a fast forward through it, you know, throw me a throw me a text in the uh, in the in the comments because I can surely start doing that no problem. So just give me a minute. I'll be right back. What did the uh, the one uh, on the passenger side? Let me take the camera off the stand and bring it around and show you. Um, looks like it's going to work there's one spot that rubs i'll show you on the table real quick all right so i got it bolted onto the firewall and the outside is just touching the uh, hood a little bit and uh i'm gonna so that means i'm gonna have to trim the outside edge i'll probably have to do the same on both sides trim the outside edge of this a little bit the little guide but it looks like these hudson bearings will work um so let me, I put a light under here. Hopefully you guys can see. So let's take a look at it. So I've got the bracket on there. And you can see how I got the mouth. It's like the, the front's bent down a little bit and the ends are bent over a little bit. And that's just so the Hudson bearing, when it's bolted on back here, on the hood area, right? That it'll be able to receive in and out every time it goes. But as you can see, I hope you can see it. It's uh, it's just touching. It's just touching right here on the sheet metal, and I don't want that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna trim that down just a little bit, and uh, we'll take care of that. I wanna I wanna take these in and get them etched anyway, and I'm gonna treat them like I said. No, I'll, I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do with that later, but. I mean, these are a little heavier than I wanted, but I think they're going to work. So we're going to give it a try. I'm going to keep rolling with it. We'll see what happens. So overall, I'm happy with it. It's just going to need a little trim job. Both sides. All right. So then I'll start thinking about how we're going to do these Hudson bearings. Maybe we'll work on this over the weekend again. Because I'm going to take a pause from this job. I mean, I'm, I'm still going to work these these brackets a little bit, trimming that and stuff. But um, our radiator showed up, and uh, I want to get that unpacked, and we're going to lay that up under there, and uh, see how we're going to make the bracketry to hold that. Um, I think it comes with mounts on the side of it. I'm going to unpack it, and I'll show you guys. Um, I pulled this box out from behind the table. Last year, I don't know, some of you guys have been with us the whole time. When I made that repair on the frame, I ordered this through the mail. But at the same time, we, the wife and I ended up running down to the metal yard. And I bought the metal I needed for that. And this showed up a couple days later. And it's been sitting sitting out here with the rest of my metal. So I'm going to see if I could use this to make the brackets for the radiator. 
waste not want not i'm trying to use up all my scrap i mean i've got pieces of angle iron and everything just laying around that's what i made those brackets out of they're a little heavier than i'd want but i got the material so i'm going to use it um, so let me put this back on the stand um the camera's getting pretty low so i'm gonna plug it in for a few minutes and i'll get this unpacked and prop it up underneath and then i'll turn the camera back on and show you guys what i got okay we got the uh, radiator unpacked um got some discovery work it's gonna it's gonna be a little bit to do this but not too awful bad um let me pull the camera off i put a light back underneath there so i can show you guys what i'm thinking um, so the radiator itself i'm gonna have to i'm gonna mount between the frame rails obviously and from the bottom of the uh radiator to the top of the bracket comes out to 18 and a half inches um i think i measured 23 and a quarter from bracket to bracket and i'm at 29 and three quarter from frame rail to frame rail so i'm gonna have to make a brace that comes in three and about three and a quarter on each side um to grab the uh, three bolts on there um the bottom of the radiator i'm going to make flush with the bottom of the frame rail um one of the reasons why that i'm going to have to take that uh factory hood stiffener off two reasons uh, uh the, the well actually the main the only reason is we're making a, a, a sliding tilt nose so when it slides forward this is going to hit the top of the radiator so we're not going to be able to use it so it i mean i could just trim it up in there maybe we'll see but i think it might be easier just to take it off i mean we got those uh real nice braces that we made the other day that i showed you in the last video that go a couple feet back so i mean it'll be okay without that on there so i'm probably just going to take that off um so <laughs> I got, uh, I, I unpacked, I also unpacked that plate steel. I, I, I think I'm only going to need one of these to make that, uh, make both brackets. They're like, uh, they're like 12 by 24. So I think I can, I think I can make both of them out of one. Um, we'll see. Maybe I can get my buddy to bend them for me. He's got a bender. Um, they're not quite eighth inch, but they're, they're pretty close. I forget what that is. Um. I knew what it was. It's whatever the original frame thickness was. It's what they are. Um, it's a little under an eighth. It's like 0, 0, 090, I want to say. You guys that are purists can look it up and tell me, but it's uh, it's 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 under an eighth inch, but uh, it's right around there. So I'll make uh, I'll make the braces out of that. Um, so I'm going to get that going. Um, I didn't think this was going to be a very big video, but it's big enough to where I could throw it on the uh, YouTube and, and, and let you guys have a look at what we got going. Um, so that'll be a pretty good update. A lot, we're making progress. I mean, a lot, a lot of work, a lot more entailed to doing this sliding tilt nose than I thought. I'm still waiting for information on the, uh, on how to make the hinge on the front. But like I said, I do have some ideas and as soon as i get a ballpark at what i want to do i'll let you guys know uh, same thing like with the uh with the top braces I, or brackets i just showed you i'm not positive they're going to work yet but it's the direction we're going and we'll fine tune everything and make it work as we go take care and what's the booba say what's the booba say which booba what's he say no i'm asking boobies you're both good boys. You're both good boys. Look at my good boys. They're both good boys. Look. Look, 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 look. Is that what you say? It's a good boy, you say that. All right, take it easy.